Introduction Dad, I'm very hungry. Is any fruit kept inside the refrigerator? Yes, my dear son. But before taking and eating any fruit, first wash your hands and then fruits to clean them. But why, Dad? Look, they're clean. Because there's so many germs present on your hands and fruits and you cannot see them. So, it's not hygienic and healthy to eat them without washing hands. Objectives At the end of this course, you will be able to maintain hygiene of your sense organs, explain how to take care of other body parts, understand the importance of exercise and proper body posture, know about School Health Club. Dear friends, I'm your friend, Sam. Let's recall first what sense organs are present in our body. Eyes, ears, nose, tongue and skin are the five sense organs present in our body. Actually, we interact with the outer world with the help of these organs. So it is very necessary to take care of them. Now, let us discuss how we keep our sense organs healthy and hygienic. Let's first discuss eyes. Eyes are the sense organ of sight. To take care of our eyes, we should follow some useful tips, which are as follows. Wash your eyes with cold water regularly. Always read under sufficient light. Eat fresh fruits and green vegetables on a regular basis. Now, let's talk about nose. Nose helps us to breathe and smell. To take care of this sense organ, we should follow some useful tips, which are as follows. Use a soft, washed cloth to clean your nose. Cover your nose at the time of sneezing so that the germs do not spread in our surroundings. Next sense organ is ear. Ears help us to hear sounds. To take care of your ears, we should follow some useful tips, which are as follows. Use cotton buds to clean your ears. Avoid listening to very loud sounds. Tongue is another sense organ. Tongue helps us to taste food. To take care of tongue, we should follow some useful tips. We should clean the tongue with a tongue cleaner gently. Do you know that most of the bacteria are not found in the teeth, but on our tongue? The fifth and last sense organ is our skin. Actually, it is the organ of touch and feel. The skin is the most exposed part of the body, so the chances of growing germs on it are comparatively higher. To take care of our skin, we should follow some useful tips, such as take bath daily, change your clothes daily, wash any wound thoroughly, and apply medicine immediately on it. Take balanced diet, including a variety of seasonal fruits, to keep your skin healthy and glowing. So, friends, till now you have learnt about sense organs and how we can take proper care of them. Now, I will be checking your understanding of the topic discussed. For the correct answer, click on True or False button. Now let's move on to the next topic of this course. That is, cleaning of other organs. So at first, let's talk about cleaning of mouth. A healthy mouth requires daily brushing of your teeth tongue cleaning, massaging of gums, and rinsing the mouth. Now, let's talk about 
cleaning of teeth. Teeth help us in chewing and grinding the food. To keep them healthy and strong, we should brush our teeth twice a day, after waking up in the morning and before sleeping at night. Now let's discuss the methods of keeping the hair clean. Do you know that the hair keeps the germs away from your body? Sweat and oil makes the hair dirty. So to keep your hair clean and healthy, you should follow some steps such as Wash your hair regularly with a mild hair cleanser or shampoo. Massage the scalp well with oil. As we can see that the face is that part of our body which bears most of the sense organs. So in order to keep it clean, we should follow some necessary tips such as Wash your face at least twice a day to remove all dirt, dust and germs which come in contact during the course of the day. Apply some moisturizer on your face to keep it healthy and fresh. Our nails also contain dust particles and germs and if we eat food with hands having dirty nails, the dirt may enter into our mouth which may cause diseases. To keep our nails clean and healthy, we should cut our nails regularly and wash them with hand sanitizer every day. To prevent infections, we should follow certain steps such as wash your legs and feet well during bathing, dry them properly, especially between the toes. After coming from outside, wash your legs and feet properly. If we want to remain healthy and fit, we should exercise regularly because exercising makes you more energetic, keeps your body weight under check, keeps mentally and physically fit. Now let's enjoy another interesting topic that is body posture. A good body posture is essential for proper body growth. In a good posture, our shoulders ought to be straight, abdomen should be pulled in, head should be lifted and chin should be parallel to the ground. Do you know the benefits of having a good posture? Okay, now I will tell you. If you have a good posture, then breathing becomes easier, blood circulation and digestion improves, muscles and joints become stronger, your voice gets clearer. As we all know that some schools have health club. Do you know what it is? Actually, a school health club is a place where kids learn healthy food habits, exercise, yogic asanas, hygiene, environment-friendly activities and health awareness. Summary Now friends, let us summarize what you have learnt. Eyes, ears, nose, tongue and skin are our sense organs. We should keep them clean and healthy. Cleaning of hands, face, nails, legs and teeth is also necessary for good health. Regular exercise and good posture of body are helpful for a healthy body. School Health Club teaches the kids about healthy food habits, exercises, hygiene and environmental friendly activities.